morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is Nathaniel Kempton's Productions here today, and welcome to Railworks Train Simulator 2014. Today, I'm going to teach you all how to drive the Mestral's uh, austerity. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, hit F4, stick a bit of coal in, uh, F5 again. Uh, this is the advanced version. Going to press the button number one to get into the cab view. Lovely. Um, now, to operate the reverser, you need to hold down the E button in order to move it. Because if you don't, if you watch, don't let me do it. So hold down E button to move it. Uh, now, it will automatically lock into place. So, uh, let's use the S button. Some of that, let go, 33%. Next one is 66%. There it is. And of course, you've got 100% as well. Uh, C operates your cylinder cocks. Uh, M and Control M operates your dampers, which you need open. Uh, N and Shift N operate your blowers. Uh, X operates your uh, sanders, or you could do it in the cab, which is better because it leaves it on. Uh, that's your regulator, that's your brake, that's your whistle, uh, that's your handbrake. Uh, all windows are openable, it's just click and drag, like that. Whoop, one's at the front, click and drag and one at the top again click and drag now I apologize for the uh, bad frame rates today I have um, changed the settings a little, little bit the scenery density has been increased so buildings and flowers and things reappear as they're supposed to do uh, does affect frame rates quite a bit I might tone them down a little bit and take some scenery away, fiddle with the settings a little bit to make sure it's it's all okay. So, back in the cab, uh, all of your brakes are off. Steam brake, which is controlled by the kind of the the square um, bracket one, which is this one here. Engine brake control, which is the steam brake. Uh, and of course to drive it's A and D we already know that by now uh, let's go to the outside view you can see at the front here there's steam coming out that's from the cylinder cox press C again turns it off of course now we've got whistle on spacebar you've got guard's whistle on the button Y and you've got alternative whistles on the U button. There you go. Um, that's that's it. It's as simple as that, really. Uh, just operate the steam brake to slow down. You see up here, it slowly increases. Now, as you can see, we've left the fire shoveling. Uh, to stop that, you can use the Fisher Price toolbar. It's very effective. Or, Shift R, stop shoveling, and Shift F to shut the firebox, and then, of course, F and R to do it to shovel again. Um, now, of course, you can do it manually by click and drag. Click and drag. Oh. Click and drag. It can be a bit temperamental sometimes. You've got to get your camera along in the right place. Um, K increases the water to the boiler. And then I allows the water in. Press I again. It stops it. And shift K. Turns the valve off. Um, L does it on the driver's side. And O is the water. So O and then shift L 
turns the valves on and off. Um, you've got your blowers there, operated by N. You've got our damper is on down there. Uh, that's your handbrake, which you can click and drag one way or the other. Uh, or you can use the question mark button, which is a little bit quicker. Uh, to take your brakes off, of course, it's the funny square looking uh, brackets which are located to the left of the enter button on British keyboards. Um, so to go forward you hit E and click and drag forwards. Now you want to let go of E sorry you want to let go of E first and then let go because sometimes if you let go of the reverser first and let go of E it sometimes springs back so you let go of E first, which is the reversal. Like you can see they're moving. So if I go onto the fireman side, you can see they're they're even moving. Uh, this is the advanced version. Um, the not advanced version, uh, the standard version, is even easier to drive. It's the same as everything else. Uh, but you haven't got to panic. You haven't got to panic about the uh, reverse lock. Um, so let's say we're going along the line. Let's just stick it in reverse. Probably should have done click and drag. So open the rig a bit more than I should do. But it's my railway. I can do what I want. So you can see we're moving along quite nicely, uh, but we're using a lot of steam. So to avoid that, keep the regulator below 20%. Hold down E and use W button to get it to about 66%. There we go. Then open the regulator a little bit more. We're using less steam, see? So close the regulator again below 20%. Hold E forward even more, about 33%, and open the reg more. See how boiler pressure is going, because we've not built up a good fire yet. So, I'm going to put my blower on, to build the fire up a little bit, and shut the reg off to about 4%. Speed is increasing, and our boiler pressure is also increasing. Take our blowers off, boiler pressure is still increasing. And that's it, really. That's basically all there is to it. Uh, and of course, X is your sanders, which are down there. Uh, C is your cylinder cocks. Uh, Z is blow down, which we'll come to shortly. Use the handbrake and the steam brake to speed up and slow down. You hop in the cab and press F4, you see it's lurching all over the place. Now, with certain types of austerity, which you get with the uh, Memories of Mardi Pack, uh, they're steam braked only, there's no train brake. Uh, the train brake does work, you can see... No, it doesn't work actually. That's, that's okay then. Uh, there's no vacuum brake or air brake. You're pr purely relying on the locomotive brake. So you can see here, there's no... Uh, there's no vacuum or air brakes at either end. Uh, coincidentally, to do... Uh, the lamps, it's control... And the 1, 2, and 3, 4 buttons. So that's button number 1. That's button number 2. That's 3. That's 4. So we'll take out numbers... 3 and 2, we'll lift with that one, we'll swap it for 4, uh, not 4, sorry, 1, and put it there, or put it there, or take them all off, it's up to you. Um, now, so for example, you've just had a busy day, busy day, uh, some of your pipes have got a bit blocked up, for example, it's, it's not simulated yet, I don't think, but uh, it's a good thing to get used to. Uh, press the Z button. You can see all of the uh, all of the steam begins to come out. The safety valves, the whistle, the chimney, the cylinder cocks, the steam chest, and the water. And you press Z again. 
and it turns that off. That's your blow down button. Basically that, I think it's blow down anyway, it clears all of the pipes and the flumes out so there's no nastiness in the way. We've still got our brakes on, haven't we? And off we go! That is literally all there is to it. It's very easy to drive when you get used to it, really. Um, the hardest part is getting used to it. That's the diff most difficult bit, I, f I find. Found, rather. Um, in the next tutorial, driving tutorial, I'll teach you how to drive the uh, advanced uh, Class 5600, available to download from Steam. Uh, the advanced GWR rail motor from Steam. Whee! Uh, advanced Black 5 and the advanced uh, 8F as well. And a few other of the quite quirky looking locos that you get on the freeware, for example. Um, that is it for now. Uh, I leave you with an artistic-ish view of Idris going along the line. But bye for now. Uh, thank you for you through watching at home. And I shall get back to you very soon. Bye bye.